we have breakdowns installed as you can see here so we should be good all right so what am i going to do today i am going to show you that as i said there is another chrome extension that will be coming in addition to the last chrome extension that i talked about and you might be asking why the two extensions are not joined together just um so that they can be maintained and i really wanted the second chrome extension i didn't want to release it yet but i think it is something that i was able to work on and i think it was good that probably it should be added to the beta testing and you should be also be able to access it if you are in um if you join the pro version of moblox and also i just want to say that the two chrome extensions are going to be exclusive for those who join the pro plan for moblox so if you do get onto the free plan you'll still be able to access the website and you should and you should be able to get yourself to prompt um to download a component or a template or whatever thing that will be free on the website so that is something that um, i'm trying to put out there the chrome extensions will be for the pro users and there is going to be two of them so let's look at the um the second one that I will be introducing and I just want to show you how it is. All right. So what this one does is let's go into what I want to do. Um, I'm going to save something here. All right. I think it's already saved. Um, let's open. Let's go back and open this. All right. I want to go into the extensions and I just want to update the extension one more and come into back into dashboard. All right. Over here, what I want to do is I want to go into breakdance and go into settings. Um, if you know, I do have a Gumroad, um, account that I do have like some products over there. And I also do have, um, a free performance and style guide, style guide included on Gumroad for free that you can just go on there and download and use for your own website. So what I have done with those performance and style guide is I have turned them into Chrome extensions meaning that you can install that Chrome extension and you'll be able to use it very fairly. But the, the, even the, the nice thing is that you don't have to download anything anymore. With this Chrome extension, you should be able to just, with just a click, you should be able to fill up everything over here in just one click. You fill up everything that you need to fill and with just one click, you can just save it and go your way. And that is what I want to show you. All right, so I am going to trigger the, the Chrome extension by using the shift Sorry, the control shift to you. So there's a Chrome extension, the newest one that is coming. All right, so in here you do have, probably the names will change later, but you do have one that is called More Blocks Utility Options. All right, so I am going to click on that. So over here, you can see that there are um, four options. There is a non-block performance, there's a block performance, there's a clear all, and then there's a save. All of these work as they sound, like as their name says. The non-block performance, that is if you have a website that is not, um, that would include blog, you should click on this. So I'm going to click on that. When I click on this, you can see that everything over here has been filled up for you. You don't have to um, go download anything and come and install it. You don't also have to always come and take everything and then just scroll down and click on save. You can just click on this. It will fill everything up. If let's say you are on the blog performance let's say you, ha you do have a blog and you want to leave this on check you can just clear everything and then just click on blog performance and it's going to fill everything excluding the gutenberg blog css so that is what this and these buttons they do so let's say we are going to make a website without any blog so i'm going to click on that and then i'm just going to click on save it has been saved and i want to sh show you that it has been saved so i'm going to go into dashboard right and I'm going to go back into here and then click on settings and then go into performance. And you can see that it has been saved. So you don't have to scroll down and click on save. So that is one thing that I think it is really cool. I don't know whether it's cool, but it's something that is going to help you when you are um, setting up a new environment for a new website, testing out whatever that you're doing. So this is really, um, I think it's really something that will help those who are in the pro plan of Moblox. So that is what that does. The second thing over here is a global style kit. So if you have been on the government and you have copied this, you know that you have to copy it 
open the file and after that you have to paste it into um, a page and then use it that is um the same kind of idea but this one you don't have to download anything it is already stored over here that was what i had opened so this is what the json file is so i am going to go back over here so let's uh so let's go into a page right let's clean everything here make everything go and then let's call this page call it um global style global style kit let's go ahead. gsk and then publish it and then click on edit with break hands all right i'm going to say no and then i'm going to trigger it with Control shift to you so it just pop up like that so over here i'm just going to click on style global style kit click over here it's going to show you that you've copied it and then i'm going to come back over here and then just paste it so you can see that now we have pasted everything that we do need and it comes in with so every color with the one on Gumrad, mostly you have to like link all the colors you see you have to link all the colors over here you don't have to do that anymore it pulls the colors like um the brown colors and other stuff like that. so when i go into let's say global settings and i start going into my colors and then i start changing you can see that these are changing just like that see brand for that so let's say our brand is that um our text is let's say black um let's say our heading is black but not too black whatever color that we want our links let's say our links are whatever this color is and then our background let's make our background not too bad so that is that so now you don't have to also go inside and then link everything over here so that is for the colors and uh, the next thing that you might want to also work on is probably let's say buttons right so for buttons you do have this over here so let's say background for this as they can see that it is changing as it should so now you're able to visualize everything that you're doing secondary one you can also do that if you want you can do like typography and other stuff like that which is really um really important all right so that is good the next thing that i want to show you is typography and that is where that um chrome extension also come in handy so i am going to trigger it again and over here i'm going to say Control shift U. So the next thing on, on this is called the clamp generator. So literally you are going to have a clamp generator right on your screen. So over here you do have um a number. So let's say we make this one 500. So as you type in and you can see that your the extension is is changing the clamp values down below. So that is what it's going to do. So I'm just going to go back and make this on 500. So let's say what I do want is I do want um, the H2 to be 64 in pixels. Um, or probably let's change it to like, let's say 72, right? And then I want the smallest to be 36 pixels. All right. So after doing that, I don't have to click on generate. It's already there. I am going to click on this and then I just copied it. So what I can do is I can come into my presets not preset let's say advanced right and then go into heading and then for each one i want to change the font size to custom and then paste in whatever that i did so this is 76 pixels for the highest value and when you go into let's say uh, a smaller value it changes let's go back so it changes to this so you can see that when we do here it's going to start scaling up just like that so go back oh this is really boring me i'm just gonna go up a little so you can see that it just keeps scaling up and until it gets to that um that size that we do want so that is what the second chrome extension is going to do it's going to make your life really convenient you are going to have um all of these things at your fingertip you, you don't have to go and download any of my old um, precepts or my old JSONs from Gomrad anymore. If you have this Chrome extension installed, you'll be able to just do that with um, a few clicks and you have your performance ready. You have your global star ready. You also have your clam generator ready. So that is what um, the new Chrome extension is going to do. Um, the name is going to, uh, the name is going to be more blocks utility. 
um, if anything changes, I'll communicate that through the more blocks Facebook group. So that is that for the new Chrome extension or the more blocks utility that will be coming in addition to the first Chrome extension, which is the more blocks components library. When you combine those two things, you wouldn't have to ever be on the more blocks website with those two, with these two Chrome extensions, you'll be able to start a project really fast. You'll be able to get your performance on top and then you'll be able to build also really fast. Um, you should keep an eye. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, you should try and join. I've been posting updates um, here and there. I've been telling and also be answering questions if you do have any questions that pertains to it. And also if you haven't joined the wait list, the wait list is still open. At the moment, I am just waiting for Google to approve the first Chrome extension so that we can start doing beta testing. When that comes through, we should be ready to go. As soon as that comes through, I am going to upload the second Chrome extension for them to be able to approve. All right. Um, yeah, my name is Nyakon. Um, this is Obi Studios. And this was a video about the more blocks utility Chrome extension. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.